Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Where? Nope. Wait. What? What was that? Back? <laughs> Sorry. Where in the last episode we we arrived at the at the Nexus and found out that things aren't quite as peachy as we'd like. Yeah, they are, they're undersupplied and understaffed, and they can't have more staff because they're under undersupplied and. We're pretty much the only ones who can do something about it because we're Pathfinder and the other ones haven't reported in at all. Which is terrible, but um, let's see what's going on here. Also more talking. I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Yeah. Please select a topic. <sighs> All right. Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. You are Employee Rider, Salary Code 19B, Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? All right, so let's be some be some time before we can get paid vacation. Interesting. We're still getting paid. By what? For what? It doesn't matter. For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Yeah, maybe not, actually. Good, we were looking around for these terminals so that uh, our friend can fix them. What the frick was that? Hi there. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. So what, what is your job? What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan, ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Mm, let me make a wild guess. Tan didn't uh, didn't hold up his his end of the bargain. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? 
situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. Yeah, I ought to talk to him about that. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. I get it. Get out there and get stuff. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. That's a good idea. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Yeah, I guess we didn't bring many of you, so, yeah. Alright, talk to you later. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. I'll give it my best. My crew's working on it. We've moved the... Same shit, different day. For posterity, in case initiative goes belly up. Next is a four-ring circus. Don't like how Tanner operates and his sustain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think sh I can talk to Canros about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously hate this kind of drama. Yeah, I totally agree with her. Well, didn't, didn't we already have that? I mean, we went all this way and an we have bigger group. issues than Good creating job. drama. But uh, people are also good at drama. <sighs> I guess the, I guess what we learned from this is you can't fix people as much as you want to. So, oh, these consoles. One of the consoles up here, maybe. Apparently not. Let's check down here then. people here what? what are you talking about it's not right it's not fair what's wrong oh my you're so it's true a pathfinder has found us there's hope at last maybe you could help you're impartial this whole thing has gotten so political my husband he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit oh, what was the crime what exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... 
There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. I think that's one of the terminals over there. Hmm, damage was done by Dark Override. So the safety locks most people listed as working here. Mm -hmm. Hey Liam. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. <sighs> I think we shouldn't write them off as, as, a as a loss just yet. Maybe we can get them back or something. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. As long as the Nexus is here? As long as we're here? We have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Right. Lieutenant, based on status report 16C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved in continued loss of resources and lives makes it, make, makes it hard to justify. Morale is low, we need to scale down expectations again. Candros. Uh, let's actually talk a little bit about this, Candros. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and... Looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Can you just tell me where they went and we can send a ship to check it out? <sighs> well, let's talk more about that. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. All right, small spoiler. Uh, until the, um, uh, until I begin the next dialogue. I was actually wondering while why, why his name was familiar, but now I remember Nyreen Kandros on Omega. Yeah. Huh. Well, no real spoiler. I don't want to discuss that. Just I was always wondering. I had heard this name before, just not sure where. Anyway, the cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. So what's your role in all this mess? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Yeah. 
Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. All right, thanks. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Well, he gave it to me. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. But what am I dispatching them to? What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Alright. So... Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda initiative. If they succeed, they earn experience and Rider will gain a reward. If they fail, they only earn a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in a cluster and handle critical missions. Select a mission and press to ascend Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved when multiplayer is launched. Then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions and multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for Rider and additional bonuses. Yeah. So you can send strike teams out and you can also send Apex out, which you then will pl play in a sort of multiplayer match. These are these special missions. Alright. Good. Okay. Thanks. Missions are currently available for strike teams. Yeah, difficulty. Alright. So, what do we have here? Notify spy, measure enemy response. Uh, poor weather conditions. Presence. Let's try and identify the spy. Ah, uh, that was. That one quickly. Let's do another one, I guess. Okay. So, I guess those were already done and we were just getting, you know, the loot from it. Uh, what else do we have? Destroy me warships. Sure. My time mission cat. Uh, we're gonna send Yankees or Uniform. Let's send Uniform, I have a higher chance to succeed. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, I can press a button and nothing happens. Interesting. Not sure what that's all about. I guess I'll figure that out off screen. Network connection error. Okay, that would explain that. All right, I'm gonna check that out later, I guess. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. So what do we have here? But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. Hi. Right. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. Alright, so what, what do you do? What fields do you study? Herrick's in the life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Aradana's the space and math whiz. 
Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Sure, I found some... I can give you some readings that we, that we, that we took on um, Habitat 7, you know? Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? Sure. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Which terminal are you talking about? But this one, right? This that, that, that one's a little bit broken. Let's talk to the other ones. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Alright. I'll I'll take a look. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Alright. Final proposal. Since we are, by definition, invasive species, uh, species in Andromeda, our invaluable footprint must be laid carefully, and we must preserve anything we, we, we replace. The EDS cluster is presents an unexpected challenge. We arrive with seed archives and DNA banks to ensure preservation of the biodiversity of the Milky Way, but this cluster is scarred by the scourge, and its unique flora and fauna are threatened by its turbulence. That too requires conservation. Yeah. Sure. Do that. Chief. Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Try and stop me. Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with all the money, but yeah, sure. Alright. Let's try and find more consoles. Ooh, a lot of text. Let's read at least some of them. The Tyrant Candros from Jonathan. Candros, as you are aware, there was a mutiny about the Nexus during your absence. Events es escalated quickly, what we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and a theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. Death and perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising, supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw an official report. It's imperative if we know what we're working with if we're going to survive. Okay. Dr. Tan, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. You really need. M if you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding that the Axiles were more Calyx's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Calyx Kavanas may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiance as clear. I know she's, she's held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when, she, when it comes to this task. Sloan Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good. Then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Axiles might have gone? When we do get a colonial efforts up and running, I don't want surprises. Report. Following report from Recon Team 232. Terrace Code found what looks like abandoned camps in a Pfeiffer system, but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. Conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Stone Kelly. Uh, Stone Kelly. That sounds grim. There's another terminal. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Alright, let's do that before we go down there. Engineering up. 
So it's going up there. Into the panel here. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Alright, I'm well, gonna talk to Raj. Engineering reports. Hyperion power drop is now at 100 percent Oh, fairly not. So, what's going on here? Hello? Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Mm, it's true, but what's with these prices? Ouch! Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash-landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... I see. So what do you have? Falcon! Omniblade, Katana, Shotgun... I really don't have that much money though. I have 122. Yeah. I already have a Viper, thank, thank the goddess. So, but... I guess we can sell salvage. You know the stuff that we just picked up along the way? Not sure if I need spare guns. Because I have like two Avengers, and I probably only want to carry one at a time, you know? Oh, ammo consumable helmet. Okay. What else we got? Overdrive pack. Woo! Overdrive. Well, I guess we're gonna sell all the spares that we have. Salvage. Gain 2000 from that. Interesting. Uh, I guess we could buy something from, from that, but I'm really not interested in any of these things. Like, I'm not interested in an assault rifle for me. Not sure if I also need that to equip it on my people and all. Also, don't need shotguns at the moment. Yeah, I could buy a katana. Just you know, to have any shotgun around. Also, sell my spare Avenger. And I guess we're gonna buy a katana for that. We could also buy an Omni Blade. Because I like stabbing people when I'm in, in, invisible. In case you haven't noticed that, so I could buy an Omni Blade and a katana. Uh, let's actually buy the Omni Blade, but not the katana. Yep. Alrighty. Still have a lot of stuff that I probably should look at. Good. Well, that's just the same thing. Okay. Engineering reports. Okay. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Milken, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm trying to approach this from a, you know, neutral ground, no? I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. And then what happened? So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. So you're saying it was unintentional? Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. 
Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Well, I guess I'll take a look at the evidence and uh, that should decide. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. <sighs> well, engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100. Kendros? No news on the Turian arc yet. Or is this militia business? No, well, it's actually about the murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So he just happened to be found guilty. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. Well, maybe then he didn't do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. All right, I'll see what I, what I find. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Console, you said? This one? The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Hmm. Doesn't sound too good for him. Anyway, before we investigate the witness and for the consoles for Raj, let's actually end up this episode right here. Not sure how many how, how many more we'll have to spend here, but I think we're almost done with it. But uh, we'll see that next time. Have a good one.